Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chris. Welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to be going over YouTube Secrets, a book by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis. So I'm going to be breaking this book down chapter by chapter for you with my notes into what I'm taking out of this book and how I'm going to apply it to my own online influence on YouTube. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome back. Chapter five, it is gonna be community, engage with your audience. So it starts out with a statement, the internet is becoming the town square for the global village of tomorrow. So like I said, you know, internet's here. It's, uh, yeah, it's here and it's here to stay, baby. So we gotta figure it out. All right, and so as a YouTuber, you can create uh, more of a connection with your audience than ever uh, before because YouTube gives your audience the ability to see you so they can trust you, you know what I mean? If, if, they, if they feel that you know what you're talking about or at least have a sense of it and they learn something or, or get value out of what you're giving to them, they're going to keep coming back. So uh, find your community. So with finding your community, uh, you know, in order to attract a subscriber, when they, when they subscribe to your feed or when they subscribe to your channel, they are searching for updates. They want a connection. They want to, or they are willing to commit. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. And, uh, you know, for, at least for me, I don't want people just to click on my videos just to watch them. I want them to, to keep coming back. I want them to find value in what I'm giving to them. So uh, one of the things that I'm going to start doing here on uh, not just my channel, but also my actual blogs, I'm going to start to poll users and see what it is that they're looking for, and I'm going to hopefully build uh, a community that they can kind of wrap themselves around. So uh, if they need help, they you know if they if they're not finding the answer from me, maybe they can find it from somebody else within our within our little community. You know, um, I definitely want to create a space that people can you know get information when they want it all right so power tip i always like power tips all right power tips are at least this power tip is people can turn on notifications to your channel but you're gonna have to remind your viewers to do this so i myself right now have just a personal vlog at least the vlog that you're using or watching right now and i mean you can click on the notification button um to see what you know, daily videos or weekly videos that I come out with, and that's great. But uh, as of right now, I don't have like a main overall purpose for my for my personal blog. It's just me kind of uh, just doing my thing. Once I get some more established blogs, I'll probably start to put out more links and more shout outs to some of my other websites and uh, you know, and my other channels. And then you guys can click on your notifications for that. So if you guys have a specific purpose, you know, you can you know get notified whenever I update that. All right. But if you guys like me personally, hey, come on down and subscribe. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. So if you if you provide really good value uh, to your audience, you know, sometimes you can even get what they call super subscribers. I myself, I subscribe to uh, Joe Rogan because uh, I love watching MMA, and initially he got me into watching his stuff. The Joe Rogan experience uh, because he had a lot of MMA fighters or he had a lot of talks about MMA. But now, you know, he has definitely brought in his, his topic list to my gosh. He has so much different stuff on his channel. Like he talks about aliens and government conspiracies and, you know, just how crazy society has become with being offended over everything. And, and it's like a lot of his views are similar to my views. So I, I love watching Joe Rogan. Um, I have subscribed to PewDiePie, even though I don't really watch him that much, just because, um, you know, I'm just showing some support, showing some love, but, uh, yeah, I'm not really as big into the cringy stuff as he is, like, it's just, I don't know, whatever, they're just memes, to me at least, but hey, I still support him, I think what he's doing is great, um, yeah, so... Yeah, so one of the things that I actually learned from a long time ago in a sales class is don't be afraid to ask for the sale. So with that being said, don't be afraid to ask your friends and family, coworkers, acquaintances, Facebook groups to check your channel out, you know what I mean? And if they really do like it, hey, make sure you ask them to subscribe. If you guys like what, what you're getting out of these videos, hey, feel free to subscribe. Um, yeah, you know, don't be afraid to ask for the sale. 
So try to include links to all of your social media platforms. That's a good idea. You know, I think that when you build yourself up on a personal level, it makes it a lot easier to put your channel out there for YouTube. So like on my Facebook uh, account, as of right now, I still need to build more content for my YouTube channel. But once I do build that, I'm going to be posting a lot of links out of my Facebook profile to say, hey, guys, check this out. Check that out. Check, you know, and, and hopefully get some feedback and just start to build more of my followership. Okay, so power tip: give users a good reason to subscribe. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I have to say personally. When I watch YouTube videos, I don't like it when people just say, "Oh, hey, subscribe to my video." It's like I don't know. I I want I only want people that are going to be loyal subscribers. I do not want people to subscribe subscribe just because. Um, I don't know. It's like the cool thing to do or whatever. Like I myself. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I do watch PewDiePie sometimes, like, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's all in the way that you word it. One of the things that they they kind of uh, said here is, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on my brand new videos. That's that's a good reason to subscribe. Was hey, maybe I don't want to you know miss out on some brand new videos. Um, Joe Rogan actually doesn't do that, but that's. I, I like his content that much. I don't even care if he says it or not. I just, you know, I like to, I don't mind subscribing. Uh, don't ask people just to ask people just because then you, you start to become needy and that's not cool. Don't be like, please, please subscribe to my content because I have no other followers. Like, I don't, like, I don't want to be like that. I only want people that get value out of what I say because those other subscribers that are, you know, not really into your message, like they will be the ones, they will be the first ones to turn on you. And talk smack on you when something goes wrong. I want loyal subscribers, people that, like I said, get something out of what they're watching. Okay. And the more comments you get, the more relevant you will become. So that's one other thing that you're going to want to do. So after you ask your your viewership to subscribe, if they are subscribers, hey, ask them to comment. You know, the more comments you get, the that YouTube algorithm, it'll pick you up faster. And it'll, it'll start to rank your videos higher. So, guys, if you like this video, comment. If you don't like this video, Comment lately and politely. <laughs> uh, all right. So this talks about in this chapter also to name your community. I do not have, uh, at least I feel that I do not have a, a big enough channel yet to name a community after. I, I still need to build my community, and that's kind of the process of where I'm at right now. But that could be a, that could be something kind of cool. Um, when you name your community, you can create deeper connections because people feel like they're a part of something. And, and that's something I eventually want to head towards, but I'm just, I'm not there yet. All right. So I myself, this is a little personal note that I came up with. Uh, make videos thanking your viewers. So another thing that I've been trying to do really, or trying to be really good at is uh, responding to everything. Even if people are not subscribers, you still want to try to keep engaged with the people that are trying to connect with you. Uh, that will actually, I think, help go a long way and help, you know, make them become subscribers. You know, if they feel like you're really, truly actively listening and, you know, so, yeah. Um, develop true fans. You don't need a large audience. You just need dedicated audience of true fans. And I truly believe that. I, like I said, I don't want people to subscribe just to subscribe. I want them to get something out of what they're viewing. I want them to be engaged. I want them to be connected. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to be not just a deeper connection for them, but it's also going to be a deeper connection for me. You know what I mean? I truly want to make a difference, not just in their lives, but, you know, first and foremost, my own. I want to, you know what I mean? I want to be able to connect with people and make sure that um, they're just able to benefit off of what I'm giving them. So, yeah. All right, so that is the end of chapter five. All right, guys, so stay tuned for the next chapter, chapter number six, Cash, Monetize Your Content. Thanks for watching.